We have seen the report of the United Arab Emirates uh, uh, of a list of uh, terrorist organizations that they have published, um, uh, and we are aware that two U.S.-based uh, groups were included uh, on that list. Um, the United States uh, does not consider these U.S. organizations uh, to be terrorist uh, organizations, um, and, but we are seeking more information from the government of the UAE about uh, why, that, uh, uh, you know, the, why that designation was made by them um, and what their uh, background um, uh, or what their information is. Uh, on, on this point. Yes, Sayyid. Uh, I know you said that you are you're following up with the government of U UAE, uh, but the head of the organization is someone who really does frequent the State Department and that gets invited to the White House and so on. Uh, so, uh, that basically puts him in a, in a very difficult situation. So are you asking for an immediate kind of response as to why they were placed? Well, we are, we've, we are approaching uh, Emirati authorities asking for, um, for uh, more information. I'm not going to put a, a timeline on it, but uh, clearly we've seen this report and we're engaging. Um, now, as part of our routine engagement um, uh, with a broad spectrum of faith-based organizations, um, a, a range of U.S. government officials have met with, uh, with officials of the Council on American Islamic Relations and the Muslim American uh, Society. Um, uh, we at the State Department regularly meet with a wide range of faith-based groups um, to hear their views, uh, even if some of their views uh, expressed are at times uh, controversial. Okay, so uh, I know from reports that the head of the organization or the director of the organization is actually traveling overseas. Is he likely to face any kind of uh, you know, difficulties getting back into the country because of his designation? No. Well, again, the United States government does not uh, consider these uh, uh, organizations uh, to be terrorist organizations.